Hey everybody, this is Brandon. I apologize in advance for what's going to be a goofy video here. What I'm doing is I'm testing out something I found called FidoS or FadeOS, and I recorded this video on it, and the audio didn't work. So I'm going back at the end and I'm adding audio to the video. So if you see me just looking like a total idiot in the corner with the voice not lining up with what I'm saying. That's what's going on. So what I was doing here is introducing it. Uh, basically, how I found out about this Fight OS is that I was looking up information to answer some of the questions you guys have been asking about Chrome OS Flex, and I came across this Fight OS online, and I decided to try it out. What it looks like to me is a Chinese-made variant of Chrome OS, and... So what I, I think what I was talking about at this point and what I'm going to go over right now is some of the difficulties I had with the installation of this because overall the installation was pretty similar to that of Chrome OS Flex with a few caveats. First of all, I could not even get it to boot without first going into the BIOS and disabling secure boot. So that's the first thing I had to do. Once you actually get it started up, the installation process is very similar except it does have more options it actually lets you select which disk you want to install it to which Chrome OS Flex does not and it actually supports dual booting which Chrome OS Flex does not so those are two areas where it's better then once you get past that it asks you for a lot more information I had to create a Fido OS account and they wanted my phone number and my email and my name and everything I guess Google already has that stuff, but I wasn't thrilled about giving it to Fido OS also. I don't know why. Um, I saw a button in the corner that had an option for a uh, non-online account or something like that, and maybe I should have done that, but I didn't. But anyway, once let's see, once I got that set up, I went in. The installation went pretty quick. And it got me to a desktop like this. As here I am showing you what the Files app looks like. It is similar, except it doesn't have the um, Google Drive integration that Chrome OS Flex does. So that's kind of a bummer. It does have this thing here called Fight Drop. And I don't know what this is exactly. Oh, I see. It says on the bottom, share files with people on the same network. So there it is. That's that. If you have two computers with this. It gives you a Linux file section once you enable Linux on it, which was easy to do. It has an Android file section, which shows up the first time you run an Android application. It also gives you this Android bug reports icon. I don't know what that's all about. Now, the Android support, it works, but it was kind of disappointing. Um, basically, if you want Android to work, you're going to have to download an APK off the Internet and run it like that. As you kind of just saw there, the Play Store won't load. And it didn't come with a Play Store. I had to go find an APK for it. it didn't work. I It said I needed Google Play Services. I found an APK for that, installed it. it didn't work. It's possible there's a way to get it working. Um, I don't want to fish around the Internet all day looking for Google Play Store fixes. I also tried to download and install the Amazon App Store which I could not get working on this. But what I was demonstrating right here is one of my own apps that I had developed called Network Browser. I got the APK installed on there, and it ran. But here, when I was trying to demonstrate it, it crashed. I don't know why. It didn't crash when I wasn't recording it. And that's how it always seems to go on these videos. I think I was going to show the Amazon store here next, and it wouldn't even launch here. But that's you're not missing out on anything because when it did launch it just went to a blank screen um, I also wanted to download and try the Epic Games launcher just I wanted to get something to work and their website didn't even give me the option to download the APK because it recognized my browser as a desktop browser so basically there's a no-go on any kind of app store except for this one that it comes with which I think I'm pulling up now there it is it's just called store and they have an Android section which I go to there in a second. And there's a bunch of APKs that just lets you install, but if, as you can see, they're all Chinese ones. I don't know Chinese. Maybe some of you guys do. So I don't know what any of this stuff is. And I don't want a Chinese version of the app anyway. So this to me is worthless. I did test out that Microsoft Excel, which I think I launched here in a second. 
and it downloads and installs and it works but to use it you need the uh, Microsoft 365 subscription which I did not have so I couldn't test this out but I'll, it probably works I think if you're just downloading APK files from the internet and installing them that way then it'll be okay for you but that's not really that fun so I mean I give the Android support on this thing like a 5 out of 5 in that it works but it's not smooth what I'm showing here is the Linux port and what I'm gonna do is just install handbrake just to demonstrate that Linux works and a spoil alert it installs and it works and um, so that's all cool right there yes now I wonder what else I was talking about here I'm sorry for the stupidity of this video you guys but um I don't know why the sound didn't work and like I said I guess it probably didn't have a microphone driver working for that laptop in much the same way my Apple laptop did not have a Wi-Fi driver working so those are some things to think about if you're trying to install this it, it probably doesn't have as wide range of hardware support that Chrome OS Flex has what I've shown you there is when I did install it let me put in my Google account and it restored all the apps that I had put on here from uh, from the Chrome OS Flex except it didn't give me the Google Drive link on the file manager which that would have been super helpful right here I was looking at this remote desktop app I didn't test it out I don't know what it does um, it, to me it seems like it's for somebody dialing into your computer through remote desktop I was hoping it was something that was gonna let me remote into my Windows machine but it did not look like that was the case I think what I'm going to do here now is show that handbrake worked. There it goes. It works. But uh, this also handbrake also worked on the Chrome OS Flex. So if you're looking for handbrake, that's something you can do right there. Now I think what I was talking about at this point was my uh, kind of conclusions, which I'll give you here. This um, Fight OS, it looks nice. It runs good. It runs better than Windows on this laptop I had and it kind of it does have android support just not android app store support so if you have a bunch of apks and android's important to you this is something you could do it's possible that this will allow you to use linux on some computers that weren't allowing it on chrome os flex i don't know that's something you'd have to try yourself but at the end of the day i personally like chrome os flex better i don't know why I think it looks a little better. Um, I like that it has official Google support, and I suspect that as time goes on, it is going to improve quite a bit. Whereas, I, I don't think this Fight OS is ever going to have the Play Store, where, whereas Chrome OS Flex may. So, that's something to keep in mind. Um, but yeah, if if this is something that interests you, I'd say go ahead and try it out, especially if you're having problems with Chrome OS Flex and you don't know what else to do. For me personally, I am going to be wiping this laptop again and putting Chrome OS Flex back on it. It's, I mean, it's not that this Fight OS sucks. It's that um, I just like the Chrome OS better. And so that's my bottom line here. I don't know what else I was talking about. I wish the microphone would have worked and this wasn't such a goofy video, but it is what it is. So, yeah, I guess what I'm probably saying here is thank you for watching. If not, that's what I should have been saying. Thank you for watching. You should like the video, I think, and subscribe. I promise the other ones won't have such weird audio. And so, yeah, until next time, I thank you for watching. I hope you have a good day, and be good out there. Bye now.